I'm Diane Macedo. Today on ABC News Live First, we have breaking news. Israel is carrying out the most intense airstrikes in Lebanon since the conflict started on October 7th. One of those airstrikes targeted a suburb in Lebanon's capital, Beirut. Lebanon's health ministry says the strike killed three people and injured 17 others. The IDF says it's hit hundreds of Hezbollah launch sites there since yesterday. And this comes as Hezbollah vows to keep up daily strikes across the border in Israel, now saying at least 37 people were killed in the massive attack involving exploding communication devices. ABC foreign correspondent Marcus Moore has the latest from Beirut. Hi, Diane. It has been an active day here in Beirut and across Lebanon. We have been uh, following reports of uh, another strike in Beirut in the southern suburb of Dahia. This is the Hezbollah stronghold. And we've seen uh, pictures showing the damage, uh, heavily damaged buildings, smoke billowing into the air, and really chaos on the ground. Uh, this happening uh, earlier today, and we're still waiting to get information on, on what was targeted there and exactly uh, how this strike was carried out. But it, it comes as we have watched and, and seen the fighting intensify, particularly along uh, Lebanon's southern border with, with Israel. In fact, the IDF uh, said that more than 120 rockets were fired from Lebanon towards northern Israel just this morning. And the activity, the back and forth that we have seen is really marked one of the the most active days we've seen in this war uh, since it began. And uh, right now, uh, we are waiting to see exactly how this develops and what impact it will have on the overall uh, uh, conflict that we've watched unfold here. And the leader of Hezbollah, Hassan Nasrallah, uh, held us, gave a speech uh, yesterday where he referenced the simultaneous explosions of pagers and also handheld radios. He described them as acts of war. And he said that there will be a response uh, uh, for that. Uh, but right now, we're watching and waiting to see exactly what that response will, will be. He did acknowledge that the uh, explosions dealt a major blow to Hezbollah, uh, but that they would persevere and that they will continue to support the people of Gaza uh, as long as that bombardment continues. They will carry on with their attacks. And in fact, on Thursday, uh, they claimed at least 20 attacks, uh, Diane, uh, which would mark one of the busiest days that we've seen in this war uh, since it began. All right, ABC News foreign correspondent Marcus Moore in Beirut. Thank you.